Dear viewers, welcome again to the analysis of Yoleno TV. It to train us how to deal with it. Because if I were to listen to the social media, I think last week I was dead. Yes, you know, it started, she's very sick, she's receiving diuresis at Kenyatta National Hospital, then that time I was opening, the launching a beautiful building by the Chartered Institute of Arbitrators, and we were celebrating a milestone and dancing, and from there I'd gone to a wonderful team building meeting of the Supreme Court, a working session, and then this is the news that is all over, that she's dying at Kenyatta. Then I think she has left Kenyatta and she's involved in a deadly accident, and then she's dead. So really, is that something for us to look at? It's just, I'm like, are they pretending I'm dead so that they kill me and then they say after all she was dead so we have a lot of challenges as women so we need women to own each other to celebrate each other to understand the circumstances under which we work the difficult situation we navigate when we have to come up with a decision and just be kind to us so if there is an organization that extends love and kindness, I would ask that they also surround us with love, kindness, and prayers, and encouragement, something to keep us up there elevated. But we would appreciate and we continue to appreciate and celebrate each other. And also to thank our partners who have understood the difficult circumstances under which we work and they have come in in a big way to render their support, especially our development partners. Thank you very much, Chief Justice. I think you've said it all. Mm. We will continue to learn from you. We will continue to support you. And I think now maybe our institute will change our tagline to love, support, and elevation. Yes. So let's <laughs> love each other, let's support each other, and let's elevate each other. Because when we do this and more, we all grow. When mm. our Chief Justice shines, mm. we all shine. Mm. Kenya shines and Africa shines. So let's go shine. Honorable Chief Justice, thank you for shining today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a wonderful, wonderful conversation. Hasn't it been nourishing, literally riveting and inspiring? I think that, um, you know, we are sparred by the recognition that, you know, for the period that the Chief Justice has been in office, a lot has happened. If it had happened previously, I think it would be earth-shattering news. But as we said, we are remedying <laughs> those historical injustices, you know. Um, this space is also a wonderful space for intergenerational core leadership, as we can see, as we can all witness. Um, and, and the gains of that intergenerational core leadership is what the Chief Justice has called on us to extend mentorship. Thank you very, very much. Allow me to invite you back to your seats so that we can proceed with the next part of the program. Thank you very, very much. Uh, uh, please uh, let us uh, appreciate the Chief Justice and Professor Downey for that amazing, amazing conversation.